Hi, this is Jim McCullen, author of Control Your Day. In this video, I'm going to walk through using categories in Microsoft Outlook with a Gmail IMAP account. So normally, Control Your Day is set up to run with a normal Outlook POP3 Exchange or PST file. And when you do that, you have full access to assigned categories. Uh, and if you've read the book, Control Your Day, uh, you'll know that uh, we replace the use of folders to manage emails or keep them organized with categories. Well, the problem is if you're trying to access your Gmail account and you want to be able to access it through Outlook or on the web, well, the best way to do that is with an IMAP setting. Um, so when you set up that Gmail account, you can choose IMAP or POP3 is how you bring it down to Outlook. Um, POP3 moves the messages down and you can no longer access them from your Gmail web interface. Um, that's the easiest way to do it in Outlook, but you lose that visibility. So by leaving it as an IMAP account, you can still see it in Gmail, uh, but you lose the categories. And this video is about getting those categories back. So one note is that you um, will be able to assign and see these categories in Outlook, but you won't be able to see them if you're in the web Gmail interface. They'll only be visible in Outlook. So a couple of things that we're going to do in this video, we're going to create a default category that can be added to each message. And once we assign that default category, that opens up um, access to all the other categories when you're looking at an, a message in Outlook. Um, we're going to set up a rule to auto-assign that category to each new message as it's received. Uh, and then we're going to right-click on that category to add additional categories so you can go through your filing process uh, as described in Control Your Day. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, and as always, any questions at all, just send me an email at jim at controlyourday.net and I'll be happy to try to uh, help you through it. So let's open up Outlook. So I'm in Outlook right now. This is a Gmail IMAP account that I have set up. And you can see I've got some messages in here. So the problem is, first off, if you right click, you can't see categories. And I'm in Outlook 2013 right now. Uh, it's similar in 2010 and 2007, but you may have, obviously the ribbon is different and the menu options are different, but you should be able to follow the same basic outline. Um, if I go into this message and open it up and I go to tags, which is where I would normally find my categories, you can see that it's grayed out. So Outlook realizes this is an IMAP account and it's shutting down categories. So what we're gonna do is, um, we're going to assign a category to these messages and then we'll have access to it. So the first step in the process is we've got to get to our categories view. And the easiest way to do that is just create a new email message. When you do that and go to tags, you now have access to categories. So we can come into here and normally when you go into categories, when you first set up Outlook, it's going to have the blue, red, green, yellow categories. I just deleted those already. You can leave them out there or you can delete them. So what we're going to do is we're going to create one new category. We're just going to call it C, just to keep it short and simple. And we're going to assign a shortcut key to it, Control F2. You can pick anyone you want. At the same time, we could create other keys, uh, other categories at this point for our normal filing. So if I wanted to start doing my account ones, account import USA, um, maybe I want to add one for uh, projects, P dot big trip. Etc. So you can add as many of those as you like now, or you can always come back, create a new email message, go into your categories, and, and add them. So we've got a couple categories set up, and most important, we've got one with this Control F2 hotkey. So we're going to go ahead and close this out and delete this message. We don't care about it. And so now, if I hit that hotkey combination, Control F2, you'll see that it's assigned the category to this message. And so now what I can do is I can double click on this message and I can right click on the category and I've got access to all my categories. So now I can assign it to whatever categories I want and continue with the CYD process. Now the negative is you can't do that by right clicking on, and sorry about those other error messages, it's just because I've been in and out of here editing this message uh, numerous times. So. Um, you could remove the C at this point, as long as you had another category, I'm just leaving it out there. But now you can create your categories and assign them to the message. You still can't do it from a right click, uh, but as soon as you open the message, double clicking on it, you can do it by right clicking on there and adding and assigning different categories. So that gives you access to your categories. Now you can do that anytime you want to um, assign a category to a message, you can just 
go to it and click Control F2 and assign the C and then go into the message. But an easier way is we can just set up a rule to create that C category on every message as it comes in. So let's go to our rules and we're going to create a new rule. I'm going to go to Advanced Options and we're going to say we want it for all messages. Yes. And we're going to assign it to a category and just come down here and click a category. And then you can pick the C category. Click OK. And then you can just click Finish at this point. Um, actually, I want to run this rule. So we're going to click Next. No exceptions. Next again. And I want to run this rule on my inbox right now. Click Finish. OK. So now you can see every message out there has the C on it, which means I can go into any one of those messages and right click on it and choose my categories. So now I don't have to do that control F1 or F2. So it's really one or the other. You don't necessarily have to set up the hotkey if you're going to set up the rule um, because from that point you'll be able to categorize your messages. So that's it. You can now categorize messages with a Gmail IMAP account. Um, I want to thank Connie. She's one of the users that sent an email in and uh, was struggling with this, so I actually did a go to meeting session with her and figured out what the problem was and then came up with this solution. I've also just created a blog post on this, so if you go to controlyourday.net forward slash blog, um, you can read about what we've just gone over in this video. Same thing. So uh, thanks again to everybody for your support on Control Your Day. Any questions at all, just uh, send me a quick email. Thanks.